Hello everyone, it's me Sarah and today I'm going to share with you how I wrote seven books in seven years. That's right, I do nothing but write books, I don't revise them, I don't try and get them queried or sent off for publishing or anything like that, apparently. Now writing a first draft of any book is a very very difficult thing to do and I wouldn't say that I have mastered writing a first draft or at least you know for the wide masses of people I have sort of mastered how to write a first draft for me as in how I work my life my schedule my writer's head you know I'm going to share with you today the things that I have learned the things that I do in order to write you know a first draft so quickly uh, seven in seven years the average is about one per year last year in fact I wrote two novels so two first drafts in one year clearly I have too much time on my hands so I don't utilize it in the correct way writing advice disclaimer as always I am not an authority on writing seven books in seven years I'm sure a lot of authors and writers out there can do exactly the same thing I'm sharing with you what works for me, the things that I personally do in order to keep myself writing so many things at once. The first thing I do that you should do is always have an idea and I'm very sure that as writers we are not lacking in them whatsoever. It, I wouldn't say it's a very difficult thing to come up with an idea for a book but turning an idea into a full-fledged plot that's the difficult part and it helps to have a really weird imagination it helps to have a lot of inspiration from outside sources and it helps to keep note of all of these things so I have a section in my bullet journal where any sort of idea for stories any sort of snippets of dreams that I remember that pop into my head I write them down in there I can either utilize those into novels that I am already writing or already planning or I can use them mesh them together and plan an entirely new novel remember that an entire 100% idea does not have to be there in order for you to start writing you do not need to know it all before you start so don't fret if you don't feel you have a whole plot more ideas will come to you as you write the second thing I do is fast draft. Fast drafting is where you basically write your novel as quickly as humanely possible, usually around a month. So yay NaNoWriMo. This works for some, it does not work for others. Obviously writing upwards of 50,000 words in a very short amount of time can burn you out. So just be prepared for that to happen it's something that I have been doing since 2015 so I'm very well versed in fast drafting my novels and all of the ups and downs that come with it it's something that I definitely recommend that you give a go especially if you're struggling with your first draft because word vomiting everything onto the page certainly helped me finish so many novels in such a short amount of time then sort of plodding along and making sure everything was you know right as I wrote it if that makes sense the third thing that I do is keep inspired and this is such a difficult thing to do there are tons of different ways out there for you to get inspired and as writers it's it's up to you basically to figure out what inspires you the most I can't tell you that I can't tell you what will work or what won't work for you what works for me is taking a walk the walking, the silence, it clears my head, it allows me to think. Listening to music also helps me. It doesn't really matter what type of music it is, I don't go searching for a certain genre or a certain sound of music. I listen to my favourites and sometimes bits of lyrics will pop out at me and inspire ideas. Definitely scouring through things like Pinterest is another great way for me to stay inspired and reading of course not that you need to read in order to be a good writer but reading certainly does help inspire you to write your own work don't think just write is another thing that i do it's one of the pros slash cons of fast drafting where you write as fast as you can and 
try not to pay attention to what you're writing or how you're writing or the quality of your writing or the spelling mistakes or the grammatical errors or the fact that you've said said in dialogue for nine rows and just 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 write don't think about how it's coming out just get it down and get it done and this is actually a very very difficult thing to do NaNoWriMo taught me well how to ignore the quality of my writing it's definitely a learned skill which I find a really weird thing to say about writing trash and getting over and done with but as writers we sort of have this inner editor in our head that is telling us that's not right, that's not right, that doesn't make sense, you need to go back and fix this sentence and don't think, don't listen to that inner editor as you write because from personal experience he, he will slow you down and he will make you second guess yourself and you know I know some writers do prefer to go back and edit what they've just written and that's, that's, that's absolutely fine if you feel better doing that then then you do that and I'm not going to tell you not to like I'm not but for me learning how to ignore the editor and just writing down everything in my head is what has helped me the most the next thing I do is outlining outlining I don't outline properly I'm more of a planter than I am a planner but I do make a brief outline when I write I don't like pantsing it, I know sort of ish what I'm supposed to write next. I'll do one to two line slash paragraphs for each of my chapters that talk about, you know, the main points that need to go into those chapters. I can pants around those if I need to, but having a sort of visual aid of where I need to go definitely helps me keep on track, helps me know where I'm going so I don't get stuck and it also means that if I lose inspiration I can skip ahead to to a scene I know I really really want to write and write that instead. The next thing I do is reward myself. Yes, nothing is better than writing one word and getting a chocolate out of it. People do this in many many different ways. During the last NaNoWriMo I gave myself a present after each 10,000 words that I wrote which was extremely fun because I got 10 presents out of it. Some people will put off watching an episode of their favourite show unless they have written for X amount of time or have written X amount of words. I know someone recently who rewarded themselves every 100 words they wrote with an Oreo cookie. Any sort of way you can get yourself to keep motivated, to keep writing, to reach that little reward at the end of your writing session definitely definitely helps obviously you need to have a little bit of self-control when you do this because honestly what's going to stop me from eating all of the oreo cookies before i even write 100 words who's going to tell me off i'm not going to tell me off i'm not going to care i'm i've just enjoyed 10 oreo cookies but i suppose it's more about the it's more about the pride it's more about having the discipline to maintain this i will not do the thing that i enjoy until i have done the hard work and written the book and discipline is a very very learned skill again and it comes with practice and it comes with dedication and it comes with really 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 wanting to finish writing the book the last thing that i do is track my progress because nothing is better than seeing a nice little chart with stars on it as i write every single chapter that i have planned in my outline nothing is better than crossing out different scenes if you've got your scenes up on a board somewhere and you know getting closer and closer to that goal it's it's i suppose it's another way of self-rewarding yourself look how look how far you've come as writers it's always best to see where we've come from as opposed to where we are going because the road of progress stretches on and on and you are never going to see the end but you're always going to see where you've come from and how far you have come and it's a very very rewarding thing to see just how well you're doing and it definitely helps me keep motivated if I can do this well in one week just think of how well I can do in this next week coming up. As always every tip every piece of advice may not work for every single writer out there 
it is up to you to discover what works for you and what does not work for you using trial and error but the most important thing is to keep the dream keep yourself disciplined keep yourself dedicated and make sure you make the time for writing because if you don't make the time for writing you aren't going to do it and then you're never going to get anything done thank you so much for watching that's everything for this video and i will see you next time good thoughts and happy writing